Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries for the month of May 2021. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. If you connect with these messages, let's get started and see what messages we have. Aries for the month of May 2021. Three of Swords. Queen of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, okay, Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and King of Swords. Okay, Aries. You have one major arcana, which is wheel, the Wheel of Fortune, but you also have the King and the Queen of Swords. So before we get into details, I will pull cards to dig deeper in this story. But the Wheel of Fortune tells me that you are now moving forward um, and into a different cycle. Starting The wheel is now starting to turn again. It has been stagnant. It has been difficult. You have had heartbreak, Three of Swords, difficult times, Five of Pentacles, felt left out felt like things were not there for you, that your your luck and your energy and your determination wasn't there anymore. And you really felt like that for a while. It's been, it, most signs have had these cards in one way or another um, because of the energies we've had in the past year in again i always say in the four corners of the world my heart goes out wherever you are i i send all my love to you and you know if you're going through troubled times everybody has at one point in one way or another so my heart goes out to you but so this reading is telling me that yes you had heartbreak yes you have had challenges and really really this five of pentacles is just telling me you have been feeling left in the cold for a while right the last reading was boosting you up ready to get back into your power and you are now you can if you haven't um checked out my readings yet uh you can check out the april reading and um, for Aries, and uh, we were already in a motion of moving forward. And now the Wheel of Fortune is saying that good karma is coming in. Good karma is now, you know, pushing the wheel, starting the wheel in the motion forward to bring on that, that good luck, bring on those new opportunities. Ace of Pentacles, you have this new opportunity. You have been dreaming. You have been wanting. You have putting your money. You have been putting your money aside to organize yourself. When this is gonna be, when everything is gonna open, you are prepared to move forward. Whatever your plan is, whatever you're, you want to start, 
whether you want to start something completely different or whether you're starting the same thing, but you just felt left out in the cold, sort of dormant. This is now the month of May where things are opening up and the wheel is turning again. And it's that, you know, what, com what goes up must come down and vice versa. So if you were feeling left in the dark, this is now the sun is shining on you again. New opportunities, new energies. Um, your your uh, drive is back. Aries are very strong in their drive, very strong in their power. They are leaders. Uh, they, they usually are the ones to um, create, um, to um, lead a team, right? And if you wanted to start your business, to um, change careers, to open up again, right? To the, now it is coming. And they're, put the swords down, Aries. It is okay. Yes, it has been uh, tough on the ego for everybody, tough in all ways. But you now, I, I believe that these lessons that we all learned, I say we as energies, global, but for you in this reading, Aries, we have been challenged in more than one ways. We have been challenged economically. We have been challenged emotionally. But you, Aries, have prepared yourself. You have made sure you you managed your finances. You made sure you you prepared whatever you had, whatever you're made of, whatever your journey is, take it as it is for you. But you are seeing clear now, Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Both are energies of clarity, understanding what your energies are made of, understanding what the, what the situation is now, understanding what is, what there is to keep and what there is that no longer belongs to you or what it is you had and then no longer have, right? Your situation has changed. Your economical situation has changed. Your, your um, emotional situation has changed. Doesn't mean it's bad. Not at all. It just means that you're in a different place, wanting different things. For example, maybe you had a business, right? And that didn't go very well, or it has been slow, right? It's still there, but it has been slow. And now you're deciding maybe, maybe to go on a different track, to start a different career. And so you are now understanding what you want but also what your what um what is on your new path what the opportunities are on this on this new path and you have a brand new opportunity here might be completely different right but i think honestly that it's something you have wished for you have meditated, you have thought this through, and but you're you're very factual, Aries. Right? There are no cups here. Behind, besides the four of swords here, which tells me you had heartache, you had heartbreak, it has been difficult. Bes and and the five of pentacles. But all the rest is persisting, courage, persevering, being now, opening up to that resilience, to leave it behind, whatever it was that you thought you had that was your job your career your 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 diploma your school your right that and now it's not that anymore it's just changing but now you're going to discover you're going to discover this new opportunity moving forward now both queen of swords and king of swords are both very factual oriented no bullshit um straightforward and also um leading leading their world leading the pack right the queen of swords is also 
uh, very independent in their thoughts, very independent in their choices, and principled, fair, but principled, right? And now you are very perceptive, very objective on your priorities, on your direction. You, it, you sort of, I'm surprised you don't have a tower, the tower here, because it's really sort of like awakening, understanding now what, you know, what this future is made of. And you have luck on your side now. Wheel of Fortune is pushing you forward with good karma, good luck, synchronicity. You are going to see now, pay attention, Aries, pay attention to synchronicities now. As you wake up into these new energies in the month of May, you're going to feel, see, you may be, you're going to meet the right person all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of the blue, that's going to, you know, connect you to this new opportunity. Pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the people, pay attention to what people say, right? Pay attention to the messages you receive, because all of that, are, these are signs of synchronicity that are moving you forward, that you are just connecting to the right people at the right time to open up these new opportunities and start a new path. And it's just that luck is on your side. It's all going to be okay. Wheel of Fortune is really here to say that pay attention and sort of the universe is going to connect the dots and and just move you forward in this beautiful new energy, in this beautiful opportunity that actually is financially rewarding. This new offer is financially rewarding, right? New job offer, new career offer, new business offer, new project offer, right? Um, and it's financially um, you're, you're bringing, you're bringing money in. And because you have managed your finances correctly, you're ready to roll. The queen of swords is very wise. She, she, she's, she's the most masculine of all the queens in the tarot deck, right? A bit stern, but she knows how to make things happen. She knows the importance of making judgments without, you know, without emotions. You're very factual oriented. You're, you're making your choices. You're making decisions for the future because very pragmatic because they're the ones to do and you're going to meet these people and connect with, you know, connect with these people where automatically you're going to make decisions. And you, you are, and the King of Swords, you know, move it up one notch. And the King of Swords is there to make those decisions and move forward. It is, it is now, Aries, that this is happening. Whatever decisions you make, these are long-term decisions. Long-term goals finances coming in this is also this is abundance this is also manifesting abundance so whatever you wished for nine of cups this is coming in now you're in your power aries you're in your power i i said that in the last reading that you were back in your power and now <clears throat> now it's really moving forward and you you're you're standing firm, and now I think you've made your decisions, and and people are seeing you in your power, right? Because you know how you knew how to judge a situation appropriately, and now you know what actions to take to move forward for long term goals and income, financial income. <coughs> Sorry, right. So let's see what this is all about. Let's pull a card on this Three of Swords. Not that I like to dwell on negative, but let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here for, for Aries? <clears throat> Put 
Put the swords down there. He's <clears throat> Let me get some water. Sorry. <clears throat> Put the swords down. You know, it, it, it is, you know, it is, it's a different, it's a different energy now, right? So you're going <clears> to, <throat> sorry. <clears throat> Yes, the the knight of the knight of wands is uh, a knight, uh, uh, an energy of action of people coming in and out of your life, people inconsistent people coming in and out of your life, and I think you had false starts. I think you have false hopes, right? I think that during the last few months, you start. You thought it was going to start. You thought things were going to start moving forward. You start. You maybe you thought this your business was going to start up, or your product, or your career, or your job. Take it as it is, as it is in your your um, journey. But I think these are false starts, and really, you're heartbroken because you thought something was going to pan out, and it didn't. And I'm I am sorry for that. But not to worry because that situation there opened up your mind and made you understand that that was gone. That's it. That's it. New energies, right? And now you could judge very clearly, very clearly understand the choices to be made for the future. Very clearly. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, you're moving in the right directions. Whatever decisions you take now are the right decisions, Aries, for whatever your journey is really. And this, this time, this opportunity here, whatever it is for you, is the opportunity, the long-term opportunity. It's no longer a false start. Yes, look at this. Three of wands, ready to embark. This is it. You're going, you're expanding, you're progressing. And, and you are prepared. You are prepared. But you have been prepared for a while. You just thought you had other opportunities and you had several false starts. This is the right start. This is the one with the wheel of fortune. This is the one saying, move forward. Everything's going to be okay. It's just going to get better with the right people. This time it's with the right people because it's synchronicities. When it's right time with the right people, that is what pushes you forward. Okay, why is oops, why is the 9 of cups here? Why is the 9 of cups here for the sign of Aries? Why is the 9 of cups here for the sign of Aries? Why is the Nine of Cups here? You don't want to reveal your secret. You don't want to reveal your project or your 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 opportunity, your goals, whatever it is, Aries. You're keeping it secret, right? You're not revealing it yet, but you are ready. You are ready. Let me try one more time. That. Yes, well, you have to make choices. You're at a crossroads, absolutely. You're at a crossroads. This is it. These are, you know, you have to make <clears throat> important decisions. I apologize. My throat is just a little blocked. Um, the Two of Swords is just confirming that this is a, a crossroads, a crossroad, not crossroad, crossroad where, you know, this is embarking on a new journey. And these decisions here that you see clear are really shaping your new future, shaping this next step, shaping this next journey. I really think it's, yes, there you go. Fool, the fool, starting a complete new beginning. And you're really starting with a, a different energy, um, Aries. You're starting completely new. You might be you might you might be doing something completely different. You might be really really changing careers, and I really think this is a career, a life change, a life um, um, shift, 
and it has been for all readings. These the this month of May is a huge life shift for all. This is where everybody's waking up, waking up to their new energies that are sort of thunderbolting them and and making giving them clarity or jolting them to understand that now they have to make decisions for the future for the next step because our lives are not the same. Our lives are different. And this next journey is not the journey we had before. No matter how how we we shift it, no matter how long we meditate on it, no matter how long, you know, even if we're in denial, there's no denial anymore. This is a new energy. And but you are now having this wheel of fortune with this good karma coming in. Pay attention, pay attention, Aries, because this is it. This is it. But you really have that newfound energy. Now that you got rid of that anxiety that you had, that disappointed you had disappointment that you had in people, in vibes, in your environment, and it can be anything, in family, in, in anything, people that came in and out of your life, and you, you know, the false starts. Now that you put that to rest and you stop fighting that. Aries, and you see clear on and know what you want, know what you want, what your values are, and what you want next, right? What you're looking forward to next, and what you want to want, what you want, what you're building next. There you go. What your next challenge is, what your next idea is, very creative. Um, and now you know what it is, and and now that you have pictured it. And you're putting everything in place to make it happen. And you're feeling much more comfortable. Yes. Independent, comfortable. I'm not going to take that because I want to call the cards correctly. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? And this is a very good opportunity. Very lucrative opportunity. Yes, again... I'm going to put the four of four of pentacles on here because you have prepared financially, you have saved money, you're in control, you're in power, Aries, and you're ready. You're ready whenever the universe throws it at you. You're ready to rock and roll. Um, this is, again, the king of swords. That's how clear you are. That's how clear you are to make your decisions. And you have victory. Look at this. Victory right? Put the swords down. You have victory. You have success. You might be even, you know, publicly successful. People come to you for advice. People um, um, praise you for your talents, for your, for your guidance, right? You are very successful in what you do. You're going to be very successful in this this um, new journey in this, whatever you're building, whatever you're starting, whatever it is, you are going to be successful. But five of swords, Aries, put the ego down. It's not worth it because you're in a total different energy now. Put the ego down and you're immensely successful. You're celebrating. People are celebrating you for your creativity, for your your input, your, um, your management skills for, and for your anything, right? People come to you for advice. Yes, you had a lot. Yes, it was a lot of bullshit, right? But I think that goes for everybody. I think that, um, I think that these false starts had have really taken a toll on everybody because by the time everybody realized what this world situation was all about, we were deep, 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 deep because we had hopes to just maintain whatever we had, maintain whatever life we had, whatever business we had, whatever, whatever it is for you, right? How you connect to this journey. We, we, we hung on to it as much as we could and then we hung on to it to just find solutions to keep it together, right? And then we hung on to it to just find solutions to still make a little money on it, right? And then, you know, and then we didn't hang on to it anymore or it's just there, right? Or it's just there. 
making money or not, but it's just there. And we're understanding that now, what are we going to do with this? What are we going to do with our life, right? What are we going to do with our business? What are we going to do with our project? What are we going to do with our diploma? What are we going to do with this job, right? That's exactly it. Now, I don't like it anymore, or I'm not that anymore, or I'm not, you know, I, I, I don't fit in there anymore. Um, and, and that's not me anymore, right? And so, I have to make a choice. I have to make decisions because now I'm a new person. I'm a new energy. I have a new input in my life and I have a new vision of my life, a new vision of my career, of my journey. Now, do I, how do I move that forward? Doesn't have to be completely new, but in this sense, it is completely new. You're starting a new journey, uh, free, free of what you had before, completely um, sort of um, um, uh, light, light in the uh, carrying, you're no longer carrying that weight of responsibility, that weight of, of, you know, whatever didn't correspond to you that made you uncomfortable or that made, gave you anxiety, right? And now you're, you're starting free and you just feel free, free spirited, right? You're, you're open to anything. You're open to new adventures and new, new found, uh, venues, new found paths, new people, new projects, new opportunities. And that is when you connect and make it happen. All right. Why is, yeah, it has been difficult, right? Nine of wands. It has been difficult. Yeah, Knight of Wands. All right, why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Yes, there you go. Clarity and boom, Ace of Cups. New beginning again. You have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Can be a relationship. I don't particularly think it is in this in this reading, but it can be a relationship. We'll pull another card on this to see if you have love coming in, Aries, always mostly important, right? But you're definitely, you're on your new journey. So as you start this new path, you might be connecting with this soulmate energy, right? Let's see if there's another card to come out on that. This one goes here. Five of wands it has been conflictual it has been difficult but you persevered you persevered per persevered aries right you have the power aries to push through no matter what you're very strong very powerful all right let's see what this um ace of cups is all about what is this ace of cups all about you're seeing clear here you're seeing clear in a relationship or you're seeing clear in, yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah, you, you were confused in a relationship. This is sort of at the end of the reading. So I always get, I, in every in all of these readings, the last card is a, just a love partnership that pops in. <laughs> you, 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 ooh, okay. Let me. Pull one more card on this relationship that seems to be, you, you're seeing clear on this relationship as well. I think you're seeing clear all around because you know what you want. You know what your values are and now you 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 know what you want in your next step. And, and that includes love. And that includes if you are involved in with someone, if you are involved, you are seeing clear about this relationship what is it what it's all about and um you have choices you have decisions to be made all around I included with this love partnership relationships um right here let's see if there's one more card it might have been conflictual this relationship here and you're seeing clear on that as well Moment of clarity, yes, you have been disappointed. You have been disappointed in a relationship. 
um, Aries. And you're going to make a decision on that as well. Now, free will. Free will. Um, these are just cards. Don't shoot the messenger. If, you know, if it doesn't belong to you, it doesn't belong to you. But you want, you want different. You want bigger and bolder. You have the strength card on this relationship. I don't think you're going to stay in that relationship. But again, free will, your choices, your life, you know, and if it doesn't correspond to you, it doesn't correspond to you. But, but it, forever, for, for anybody it, it, that does feel connected to this reading, this is definitely a relationship where uh, among all the other energies you are, you are feeling in your change of life and your change of goals and your new vision in your path, this relationship is included in that as well. And you're seeing it in a different light. You're seeing this person in a different light. There has been challenges. There has been conflicts along the way. Even though you thought it was a soulmate connection, you have been disappointed in that as well as many other, you know, things that disappointed you. But this probably here, the Three of Swords, is connected right to that, to that Ace of cups where you are heart you were heartbroken right with energies of someone coming in and out of your life and now you see clear right because you have been disillusioned and this person disappointed you you thought you might thought you might have thought it was a long-term relationship that you were going to build a family start a family move forward with this person and and something you know you build something with this person and you realize no no. And I think among all the other energies, like I said, this is part of your new journey as well. Understanding that this person might not be for you because they disappointed you. Whatever happened, um, take it as it is, as it is your journey as well. I, I, again, if it doesn't correspond to you, it doesn't correspond to you. But here I see that you want better. You have a complete different vision now. You are moving forward in a, you're, you're bossing up, you're moving up, right? You're understanding that your life is not, no longer there. Your life is somewhere else so much bigger. You are worth so much more than that, Aries that you are probably, you know, getting out of that relationship as well. Yes, there you go. Confirmation. There you go. Strength. Again, double the strength, bossing up, moving up, understanding that your life is bigger, bigger, that you are um, really... Um, belong somewhere else, right? In a different way, in a different dimension, love-wise, right? And you're moving out of that energy, moving out of that energy. Does not mean there's not someone else coming back in. But for now, this is something you want to move out of, Six of Swords. And that's okay because you're on a total different path now, different journey, and everything is sort of moving out of the way and reconstructing itself sort of like magic with this Wheel of Fortune where it's sort of connecting the dots, right, with, with you know, um, synchronicity on your path and, and just that new path. Follow the yellow brick road, <laughs> Uh, uh, Aries, and this is going to happen in the month of May. At least this is whole the whole. It, it's all coming together in the month of May, right? Okay, Aries, wonderful reading as usual. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. That would help the channel. Thank you so much. Comment down below if you connect with this reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again for career readings up next. Be well, Aries. Bye-bye.